Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So we are talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. We are talking Martel Holt Side Chick. Again, pulling the wool over you guys, bamboozling you guys, leading you guys astray, making you believe that she is going to be this big time content creator on YouTube, making you believe for months that she is going to spill all the tea on YouTube, except for she spilled everything there is to spill. If there was more to spill, she would have uploaded videos by now, you guys. And now fans are calling her out in the comments saying, hey, I'm unsubscribing to you because there's no content. You've been promising content for five months and you've been MIA. You're not built for this, Coleslaw. You're not. Because how are you going to say, do this big production and have this whole rollout? Oh, come to my new channel where I spill tea with a kid's tea, um, you know, <laughs> a kid's tea set up. And then have a nickname for your subscribers called Area Nets. And there's no content on your channel. And you got dragged for spelling absolutely wrong. This is what I mean, you guys. Martel has these ideas, right? He has these ideas of things that, you know, to try to copy me all and things to do. But the problem is there's no execution and there's no intelligence behind it. If she's really going to sit here and do love and marriage reviews when there is nothing pertaining to the show that concerns her this season, it's going to just look like another avenue for her to trash and bash Mel, like I've been saying. And again, this is all just feelers for her to, you know, see what the interest is of her potentially having a YouTube channel. Because if she had content to put out, she would have put it out by now, you guys. I don't understand why people are flooding the comments when we all know what this is. This is all a game. This is all a game to see if people are really interested in her and to see if anything really is going to take place, if she's going to even do anything. But the problem is she has already said and done everything, so there's nothing further for her to do. All she's trying to do is try to get a coin off of Love and Marriage Huntsville because she still can't get on the show. And then if you are going to do something and it's been over five months, it's been over 24 hours since you, quote, relaunched yourself. How long do you think people are going to stick around? How long do you think people are going to stay subscribed to your channel if you are lying to your subscribers about your content and when you're going to put out content. Because the thing is, it's you have to be consistent. You have to have a niche. You have to be good at this. You can't just this isn't for everybody, right? Not everybody can do this. And I am I can't wait to hear how you try to articulate any type of review on Love and Marriage Huntsville without trying to drag a Melody, your former um, benefactor. <laughs> your former benefactor. Make it make sense, you guys. Make it make sense. Once again, people are being scammed, people are being lied to, and people are falling for the okie doke when it comes to Martel Holt and his side chick. I don't understand how many times they have to show you guys that they are all talk, no action. Why are you concerned about what people think about you and what people have to say about you? And why aren't you putting out the content? Make it make sense. Why did you do this whole rollout trying to be on your Melody Holtsties, trying to act like you're some sort of boss, trying to act like you have some sort of a brand, trying to look like Mel, only for you to completely fold. Only for you still not to put out any content. 
the episode already aired. You, you like the episode already aired and you still have no review. Now, granted, experienced content creators can get away with delaying uploading and a review and this and that on last night's episode because, hey, we all have lives. We're all busy. But when you make it a point to specifically use this weekend to promote, promote, promote in your stories, promote, promote, promote on your Instagram posts, come to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel starting tonight, which would have been last night, you were going to do Love and Marriage Huntsville reviews on the episode, except for you probably watched the episode and realized it will look foolish for you to do so. Make it make sense, you guys. Make it make sense. Stop falling for the shenanigans. She keeps saying that there's tea she has. She keeps saying there's so much that she has to spill. Some of you, for whatever reason, keep falling for it. You keep thinking that there is some big smoking gun that has yet to be revealed. And here we are, years later, months later, days later, weeks later, (laughs) hours later, and still nothing. Still nothing new. This is what I mean when people have no original thoughts, have no original ideas, have no original content or of any sort, right? How does it look that a mistress of the husband that is on the show that his wife created that you're going to now do reviews about. Make it make sense, you guys. Where's the logic? Because then it just sounds like you're a hater. Because then it just sounds like you want to check like Melody has. It's giving obsession, you guys. It is giving obsession. It is giving desperation at this point to try to get Carlos King's attention. It is giving, I have no other cards to play because I've spilled everything else on everyone else's platform, including my own. So therefore, I am going to um, pull a prank, an April Fool's joke on my followers and make them think I'm going to have this big bad YouTube channel and I'm going to be reviewing Love and Marriage Huntsville. I'm going to spill the real as if you know the cast, as if you know all of the inner workings that's going on, knowing daggone well that Martel and Melody aren't even on speaking terms. So anything you say at this point is already going to be a lie that is going to be transferred from Martel's mouth. But you guys fell for it. You guys went ahead and subscribed to try to get her followers up and everything else on YouTube. But there's still zero content. What is taking so long? What is taking so long? You spent more time doing intro videos, more time promoting the channel than actually doing anything on the channel. And that's what I mean. It is all smoke and mirrors. It is all a show. It is all to see what type of interest is out there. And some of you keep falling for the games. There's no more tea to be spilled. She's going to look like a bitter mistress if she's really going to devote her time to Love and Marriage Huntsville episodes this season that have nothing to do with her. And she lied to you guys once again promising an episode review immediately after the episode was over and there's still no content on her channel. The only thing she did do was fix the spelling of absolutely. That was the, I guess, the update that she was talking about. But once again, you guys, you guys keep falling for the same games from this lady. You keep falling for the same lies. You keep falling for the same tactics. You keep listening to the nonsense over and over and over again, expecting something different, and then you are left sitting there with nothing. Because she gives nothing. So that is on you guys. 
um, for believing the hype, believing the shenanigans, and thinking that something was going to change. So there is that. Those are the thoughts that I have. Please let me know what you guys think. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again really soon.